Hello and welcome to segment two with Wendy Oliveris, the author of Let's Play Chess from Pawn to Queen. And I know if you have listened, uh, which I'm hope view rather, forget I'm not on the radio, if you view the first episode, I know that you are just sitting down and you're holding your breath for part two because you know that there are some real great nuggets that are coming your way. So, Wendy, thanks again for hanging welcome. out with me. My pleasure. Thank you so for having me. For, for, for this segment, we, yes. we want to talk about the second portion of your journey. Okay. After you, you left college and you decided on um, embarking mm -hmm. on uh, the legal Search firm. Search firm. Let's talk about that. Well, I am the founder and CEO of Oliveris and Company Inc. Mm -hmm. My business is located in Jersey City. Mm -hmm. I've had it for uh, 12 and a half years. And basically my, my role is to uh, recruit lawyers in their job search here mm -hmm. and abroad, mm -hmm. including legal Wonderful. support staff. Wonderful. Wonderful. And uh, my clientele consists of law firms of mm -hmm. all sizes, including uh, pharmaceutical companies and um, you know worldwide mm -hmm. so you, you know what people are saying what I just saying? I just heard her say she was working with a firm for 19 years then mm -hmm. she had her own consulting business 12 years no math is not really my strength you know but that looks like it's 31, 31 years 31 years for me yes yet you felt mm -hmm. encouraged and empowered yes. to start this new vision. Do you recall the day when you said, listen, my job here is completed. I, mm -hmm. I need to transition. There are lives out there mm -hmm. that is waiting for me. Yeah. Can, can you like take me down that path? What was that like for you? Um, it, it, it's... Um it's overwhelming. It's a wonderful feeling to know that at, at my age, I'm 50 years old. What? Yes, so. <laughs> Five zero? Yes. Girl, get out of here. <laughs> You're kidding, right? Uh, no, oh, I don't think so. I need but, to talk about what you eat. Well, how I think. <laughs> That's Positive right. Positive thinking is important. Wonderful, but, wonderful. But to, to be honest, you know, mm -hmm. uh, at 50, I think the... The struggles, the challenges you face in all of your life, your journey, mm -hmm. your life journey, really becomes at some point um, a new path. That's right. And, That's right. and I'm able to take a deep breath now because I've written this book, mm -hmm. because I think my, my purpose in life has been um, realized right. with this book. That's right. That's and right. my message is in the book. That's right. And I think now I'm, I'm on uh, a mission to start taking a new journey, mm -hmm. a new path. Mm -hmm. And I think the reason that you can sit and smile and we can joke about it, mm -hmm. and although it's very serious, but you are so comfortable in your skin now because you know Absolutely. that this is something that you must do. There's no, there are no if, ends, and but about it. This That's is right. a responsibility that yes. you must carry out. Can you recall the first day when you mentioned this to your closest confidants that, hey, I'm going to do this? Yes. Did they say have, you were losing your mind? Well, I have a very close friend of mine, uh, Lisa Bullard, who was really the very first person to ever hear the words come out of my mouth, mm -hmm. that I have an idea that I've been writing for a book, mm -hmm. and it's called Let's Play Chess, S-H-E-S-S. Mm -hmm. 
play on two words, mm -hmm. she for female and the game chess, mm -hmm. and it's your game of life. And she, she's also a self-published author, mm -hmm. and actually her book is uh, A Ripple Effect. Mm -hmm. and, and she's a very close friend of mine. Mm -hmm. So when I said that to her, she just looked at me and says, Wendy, that's like incredibly brilliant. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. have to do this. You that's have right. to finish that's this. Right. Right. And she was the very first person that I actually had that dialogue about, do I self-publish, mm -hmm. or do I go on and pitch it to the majors? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And she said self-publish, because I did that, and it's a great experience. And mm -hmm. so um, I took her advice, mm -hmm. and thanks to her, I mean, I've, I was able to embark on that new uh, literary journey. That's right. You know, That's right. Uh, and learn too. You, and you're I'm acquiring learning, some. It, this um, is it's a fascinating journey. I am right. learning without fear. Exactly. And anxieties exactly. about that's the right. rejection. And I don't even turn, think you know. about that. That's right. I believe in this so passionately and so truly because I live chess, mm -hmm. your game of life, mm -hmm. every single day of my life. That's right. That's right. From the day my father taught me to play mm -hmm. to, to this very moment, sitting mm -hmm. here with you and having mm -hmm. the honor mm -hmm. to be in, on your show oh, thank you. and, and, and being given the opportunity to spread this message. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But was there anyone beside your, your best friend there that yeah. said to you that you were losing your mind to want to no, embark on no this? No, no one. Actually, you're blessed. Actually, too. my sisters were the next in line, and my mm. mom. Wonderful. My family, my nieces, Beautiful. are very extremely, extremely proud of me. Wonderful. Uh, as they know, as they were growing up, I've mm -hmm. always been, you know, tough love. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I've been, you know, the 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 aunt, mm -hmm. or the titi, as we mm -hmm. say in Spanish, mm -hmm. uh, that. Impose, uh, that instilled in them not only to respect your body as a young lady, because mm -hmm. that's first, that's right. but to have confidence in your abilities. Mm -hmm. And don't fear rejection because mm -hmm. you got to at least try to do something mm -hmm. versus not mm -hmm. trying at all. Mm -hmm. Are so, there any other members of your family that plays chess? Or yeah, just my Daddy nieces play. Uh, my nieces play, uh, my sisters play a little. Okay. Yeah. Wonderful. But I do have to say mom? something. Your mom my plays? mom had never had an interest in chess. Wow. Until I've written this book. Is that something? And, and what it made a that morning I have, was having a conversation with my mom, and I said to her, You know, mom, uh, this is amazing that a message so simple about chess is being really acknowledged in the world. And I'm so fascinated by that. And then she says, I read your book twice and, and, and I'm just going to tell you that I want to play chess. And she's 72 oh, years old. Tears to my eyes. And I, st I, I, I started to cry. I was so moved by that because for my <sighs> mom to say that, and she's 72 years old, that I was the one to inspire her to learn. So wow. if when, well, if and when on my I can show find the time, I want to show her the very basics. Jesus, yes. And the good thing is she has a good idea about the pieces now because mm -hmm. the first part of the book, book really gives you the, a low-fat version of the basics. Yeah. So I trimmed all the fat, and yeah. you just know just enough to mm -hmm. get you jump-started in the game. Wow, what a testimony. So, so your daddy... <sighs> created a legacy and he left you with that legacy. Unbeknownst to him, he did. And you are yeah, now creating a legacy in your mom. Yeah, what a testimony. Yeah. What a testimony. And it's just wonderful. What message you want to send to the women and, and the girls out there mm -hmm. about, although the transition might be rough, what words of encouragement would you like to tell them sure. to, 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 to be bold? I mean, how would you well, I think, look in the I think, camera and tell them? Yeah. I, I think in general, um, we as females um, are subjected to different things in our lives mm -hmm. for being female. Mm -hmm. And it's really a part of who you are that will help you to do something better in life. In other words, I guess what I'm trying to say is, you need to understand yourself. Know yourself. Identify who you are first mm -hmm. before you even think about expecting others to make you happy. Mm -hmm. Make yourself happy first. Mm -hmm. know, know who you are. Mm -hmm. Know what your uh, capabilities are, your mm -hmm. strengths, your weaknesses. Mm -hmm. Identify with that. Mm 
mm -hmm. inner person in you. That's right. And you know, um, that W word you just use, I, 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 I tend to tell people to look, know your areas that needs improvement. Yeah. Because we are always a work in progress and, and we can always tweak something. And it's never too late for us. But unfortunately, there, you have different personalities, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So you have some women who are open and, uh, and welcome mm -hmm. constructive criticism. Yes. But then you have some other types of women who mm -hmm. are very, um, who really uh, are very um, uh, guarded yes. in their dispositions mm -hmm. and personalities. Mm -hmm. And they take it offensively if you say, you know, maybe you should work on this mm -hmm. or uh, give a, a, a good suggestion right. to improve something. Right, right. Some Why? women are not, uh, they don't allow that. They don't, they're not flexible with uh, They're not open, you know, they're not receptive. Other people yeah. empowering them. Yeah. Why do you think it is so with, 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 with a woman? Is it uh, that they feel inferior? Why, why do you think it is? I'm not a psychologist, mm -hmm. but my best guess, mm -hmm. my best educated guess is mm -hmm. that in talking with many women, mm -hmm. you know, because I mentor women to start businesses. That's right. I think, you know, that fear factor is so dominant it is. in them. It, mm -hmm. It's incredible. Mm -hmm. the, the sense of procrastination. Yep. Oh, mm -hmm. I'll get it done next week. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'll do it in a month from now. Mm -hmm. And then they conveniently allow other things to impede in their progress. Mm -hmm. And so mm -hmm. what happens mm -hmm. is you're not, you're stalling. That's right. And years are going by, and you're mm -hmm. not you're not getting anything done. And before you know it, you're 60, 70, and I and think even that, even that. Mm -hmm. But to me, that that doesn't matter mm -hmm. because age to me is a mindset as well. Yeah, but for some people, they figure it's the end all. Yes, they don't realize that oh, yeah. life just begins at 60. Absolutely. You know, and and they just give up, and then there is such deep embedment of yes. those little negative things or oh, you can't do. Yes. Sometimes I, I, I did an interview with a, a lady, an intake with a lady who's going to be a client the other day and what's been bugging her, mm -hmm. she's in her late 40s and what's been bugging her happened when she was six years old. I believe and that. she's prominent I in what that. she does, but as earlier on in the other segment, yes. we spoke about sabotaging your own success. Yeah, absolutely. She always finds a way to sabotage herself. Yeah. Because she doesn't feel worthy enough worthy of that success. Worthy of it. And she doesn't feel worthy you know, of it. I mean, that's, again, we have to take charge of our own lives. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's really what the bottom line is. Mm -hmm. and, and, and you need, whatever steps you need to take, to improve something in your life, then do that. Mm -hmm. But if you allow fear, negative thinking more particularly, it's really, mm -hmm. it's really detrimental. And procrastination, those are three key things that- Robs you That rob success. you from mm -hmm. your success. Mm -hmm. As you mentor, especially women owner, um, women to start their own businesses, yes. what are some of the hindrances that they encounter part A, and part B, how many of these women are mm -hmm. open and receptive to work with mentors? Part A, I would have to say that uh, some, some women have a, an issue starting a business because they don't have the funding available mm -hmm. at the time, mm -hmm. or location is an issue, mm -hmm. um, time management is an issue, and again, fear, mm -hmm. you know, fear of mm -hmm. actually launching something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and part B, um, what was, what was the... Uh... Are they open and receptive to working with mentors? Because yes, I know they after yes, they... Yes, yes, yes absolutely. So, so, so that's yes, absolutely. good because I know men are so mm -hmm. open and ready and sure. said we're going to get a mentor, but a lot sure. of women are um, very reluctant. They don't, and that's a good point, but they don't actually just come out and say, I'm looking for a mentor mm -hmm. because I don't know what I'm doing. Right, because I think <laughs> it's that's... It's not in that sense. Ego I think, and pride. Yeah, I think... I think when they really have something that they're very passionate about, mm -hmm. an idea for a business, and mm -hmm. it could be a housewife. That's right. And, and she hears that there's someone who's starting businesses and, and is advising people mm -hmm. in the community, she may reach out. Right. Or she may meet so her at a, a, at a house takes, party. Yeah, or, word, you know, word of mouth, a referral. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so, um, mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. But yeah, I, I think we as women need to, you know how they say it takes a village to raise a child? Yes. I think we need to come up with something that it takes each sister to raise the other because sure. we need to really extend um, a hand sure. to a sister because sisters need our help and support. And, and, and you sisters, when somebody reach out to extend to mm -hmm. you, don't say you don't want it because it's pride. Get sure. into the way and a lot of people think, oh, mm -hmm. I'm ashamed, I'm probably no. not good enough, why? I'm and they don't, they're not seeing <laughs> that as shortening the learning curve. Because if you already learn it sure. and you can support me, there's no reason why I should refuse your help. You know? Absolutely. So you, 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 you got the okay of your... Um, my family and you say friends. yes yes I got it so yeah. you went out and, and I had... started writing my book and mm -hmm. I didn't stop once I started writing let's play chess I, it, I it just, just didn't flow stop. it just and flowed then, and then interestingly enough I started doing research and I says you know writing a book about chess I'm not a chess master per se I don't compete professionally but I have been playing for 35 years that's right how wonderful would it be if I was to get a chess master to write my foreword. Mm -hmm. And so I began my research. Nice. And that afternoon, and I'll never forget this, I go on the United States Chess Federation's website. Yes. And I see that the president of the organization is a woman. Oh, I love it. And I said to myself. Much made in wow, heaven. This is, this is, this is God sent. It's a wow. woman named Ruth Haring. My God. And what did I do? I believed in my, my messages and my books so much. That's right. I picked up the telephone. That's right. You without even thinking her. twice. That's right. And call I picked her. up the phone, and she answered the phone. And I says, hello, Ruth Herring. My name is Wendy Oliveris. I know you don't know me from a hole in the wall. <laughs> However, I want to talk to you about something that I think you're going to be very interested in. And we spoke two hours my god my god i believe i tell it. you that and I she's in california it. i believe it and i called her around five o'clock p.m so it was yes five mm -hmm. o'clock eastern time mm -hmm. and it's three o'clock her time mm -hmm. or two o'clock sorry mm -hmm. and two hours Beautiful. on the phone just just chatting about you know, chess mm -hmm. and her experiences and, Your ex and and she says that she would be honored. She would be very happy to do so. Beautiful. And so Beautiful. thus Ruth Haring is my uh, And my it's forward. when things like these unfold you you have no hesitation about the journey you're on. Because I put it into the universe. That's right. I was positive about my idea. Mm -hmm. I was I believed in this so much. And I said if, and I did say to myself, if, if she says no, I tried. That's right. And next. And we even talked about that. Yeah, next. And you move on. Yes. Because may it, let's say if it was not her time. Right. And the universe right. saw you needed somebody else. That yes. person would have presented herself. So it, it just shows about courage, making True. the decision. And that's, You could have yes. found that. Yes. information and you could have wrote it down mm -hmm. and put it away but no you took action promptly yes. you didn't email her you called her on no the I, phone. I called her and and the, the wonderful thing about it is that she was so interested in, in what I was doing empowering little girls and women to wonderful. learn to play chess because she's an evangelist for that I mean wow. she's she's in the forefront of that yes that mission to, to she's empower getting girls help yes it's like the baton being passed exactly down. so she even offered to provide some professional tips on my part one of my books so beautiful um, whatever I maybe may have missed or whatever she, she picked has up. picked up and really solidified that message Wonderful. the basics what is chess from pawn to queen and now we have at the very end you know it's your life it's and our next life. move that's it's right your future next move it's all of our now lives what do you do? it's all of our lives yes. and as we spoke about on the radio show last night and i was saying that there are lots and lots of men who are going to be reading this book 
because you know they yes, always a lot of men are like my book. exactly because they know to yes. keep up with these empowered women they're going yes. to be sharp too yes. and they are going to be using a lot of the tips in there to sure. turn their lives around because it's not gender specific we can, we can use absolutely it absolutely not absolutely we can use not. it we can absolutely use not. it it's an inspir the book is dedicated to women of all ages and backgrounds mm -hmm. i mean that's mm -hmm. the reality of it mm -hmm. and 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 the reason is because we need we need that. There's something, yes. there's a disconnect in the world about That's chess right. and girls and women. Yes, yes, yes. And I want to be the voice. I want to be mm. the person that says, ladies, ladies, please, mm. relax, have a good time, learn, Fun. take yes. the time to learn the game. Invest because once you start learning mm -hmm. and you get the hang of it and you mm -hmm. make that connection, yes, wow. No going back. No you're not going to stop. Back. I have women have contacted me after mm -hmm. reading my book and learning chess. Mm -hmm. And they call me or, or they email me and they say to me, Wendy, I want to thank you personally. Beautiful. Because me and my husband are now playing chess and Friday nights Beautiful. is our night. We have what our wine and cheese and we're having our games and we play for hours and Beautiful. we laugh. And he says, he's you're not, not in, beating me tonight. He's not in front of the TV and she no, cannot even there, get him so with there, the remote control, you know, exactly. only if you're watching a new day. Exactly. Yes. I mean, it's something that is family inspiring together. families together. Yes. I love it. You know, it. board I games are, 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 are of yesterday. Mm -hmm. You know, with all these video games and all yeah, this technology. Yeah, people don't, they don't have it no anymore, but play. you got to come back You to have these. babies that are two mm -hmm. years old, one-year-olds, mm -hmm. that are having, they, they, they're playing games on iPads. Mm -hmm. Fine. So they don't really have That's to use fine. their minds. I grew up with board games. Mm-hmm. And Monopoly, it just, what an investment. You know? Part cheesy. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I'm dating myself. But the, but, but the fact of the matter is, me and my siblings gathered. Mm -hmm. We had dinner every night at the table together. Mm -hmm. Together. That's we right. played board games. Mm -hmm. We weren't out in the street. That's right. That's and right. And that's one of the things that I'm very grateful about mm -hmm. my parents instilling mm -hmm. in us is the home life. Oh, exactly. And, and even I'm as an sure. adult, I'm a yeah. home person. Oh, I, I enjoy being in my home. That's right, that's right. But, that's uh, right. but yeah, right. you know, chess, chess is really an inspiration. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's a dedication to all women mm -hmm. everywhere mm -hmm. in this mm -hmm. world. Mm -hmm. Little, you know, if, if you're five years old, if you're 15, if you're 25, if you're 55, or if you're 72. Wow, like my that's mom. right, like your mom. It's I don't know. too late. Never too late, just have to make a yes, decision yes. to start. Do you have statistics of the, the people who are presently reading your book? I mean, what age group? I, you probably I don't think, have that. I think, I think in the responses that I've gotten in some of my speaking engagements, mm -hmm. as well as uh, the, uh, the feedback that I'm getting on, uh, online mm -hmm. and other resources, uh, mm -hmm. I would say that the the age group is from 16 all nice. the way up to 65. Yes, I love that. There's no, because there's we can no get those one more than women. the other. That's but, right. I, but I would have to say, college, young freshmen, the college freshmen are Beautiful. the ones that are Beautiful. really like just absorbing it. Yeah, it's it's going to change their lives around yeah. on that campus. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to change yeah. their lives around. Yes, absolutely. I think we probably have maybe three minutes of. Well, we still have five minutes, so we can. I still actually have. I wanted I wanted to tell you and share mm -hmm. with you that. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm having, this October, I mm -hmm. am launching the Spanish version. Oh, Latinas are going to Let's be Play loving Chess. you. That's wonderful, and, wonderful. And that, that title would be mm -hmm. uh, Juguemos Chess, mm -hmm. Se Exitosa mm -hmm. en el Juego de la Vida y Negocios, Jugando Ajedrez de Peón a Reina. Oh, wonderful, Which is a wonderful. direct translation to, to Let's Play, Play chess, chess, Succeeding Your Game of Life, life. and Business by Playing Chess from Pawn to Queen. Four minutes remaining. Yes, ma'am. Take three and a half minutes and give the ladies in this camera <laughs> the message you want to leave them with about where they are right now in their lives or career. Because when mm -hmm. we come back for three, okay. we are going to be moving them from pawn to queen. Yes, ma'am. So we want to prepare them. So just tell them what well, you I want think to tell them. I, I would like to say to all the women out there and the young girls uh, that Wherever you are in your life right this very moment, whether you're, if you're a housewife, a student, a professional, an entrepreneur, business owner, regardless, 
If there is something that you really want to change in your life, don't be afraid. I think fear will paralyze you in many ways. And I think it's important to know that believing in yourself is critical. That, that's so, so important. Uh, there, there's so many things that I want to share with you, um, but I think that the book will help you to identify your strengths and weaknesses. It'll guide you and, set, and, 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 and provide tips so that you can jumpstart mm -hmm. your uh, motion to set and accomplish your goals in life. And that's really important, mm -hmm. believing in yourself, mm -hmm. being self-aware of who you are, mm -hmm. understanding what it is that you want in life, mm -hmm. being vigilant about who's in your life, mm -hmm. personally and professionally, mm -hmm. um, being a good neighbor, that's right. In your community. That's right. uh, I That's don't good. know if spirituality is part of your life, but it is in mine. Mm -hmm. And I think that spirituality is, is, is also important. Very. But Sanchez. learning to play Sanchez. chess, Sanchez. ladies, is, is critical. When you play chess, you will empower yourself in a way that you would have never imagined. Mm -hmm. And that's the realization that I came to. It took me 35 years. But that's the message that I want to share with everyone in the world. This is a global movement that we're that's going right. to get out there. That's we're right. going to make it happen. That's right. Regardless of the language they speak, the ethnicity, it doesn't matter. The book can be Where translated in every single language, language in the world. You know? And so, again, I mean, uh, in the first segment, I said thank you for stepping up. And again, I want, here I'm, I'm saying thank you. thank you again because too many people know that mm -hmm. they were called to do something else mm -hmm. and they resist it and they fight it and you did not stay comfortable mm -hmm. in the corporate consulting firm you knew there was a work to be done mm -hmm. and you stepped out from behind corporate and it's to make a difference because i was happy as a, a legal recruiter mm -hmm. yes I was very happy, and I still am. It's just that, um, you know, the, the, responsibility. the universe the universe is changing the dynamics of mm -hmm. my career and my life and my, my purpose. So. And, and what, when duty calls, it's not about comfort. Yeah. When duty calls, you must respond. Absolutely. You must respond to, 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 to your responsibilities and your calling. Yes. Or else, and, and for the women out there that have been fighting what their true it's calling is and, and, and fighting problems. it. You got to step out and do it and you're going to find out that all those challenging and struggles are going to be moved out of the way. So again, guys, I'm showing you gratitude <laughs> for sticking by us. And when we come back, you are going to hear how you can play chess with Wendy Oliveira. So thank you again for supporting us here on the A New Day show. And we look forward to having you join us in part three. Thank you.